Our topic is adding users. We'll be approaching this subject matter from the site view of the application. Our learning objectives are threefold. We'll begin with who can add users. From the site view of the application, only a site administrator can add additional administrators or users to their particular site. Next, how to add users. I'll be giving you some step-by-step -step instruction on how to accomplish that task. And last of all, we'll finish up with some information on the differences between a site administrator versus a site user. I'm going to go ahead and share my screen and we'll get started. First, we'll log in as a site administrator. Once we've logged in from the home page of our application, in the Quick Links area, we'll locate Management, Users, and Click. Clicking on Users takes us to the User Management page. Note on this page I currently have two users. I have a Site View Administrator and I have a Site View User. To add an additional administrator or user, I'll start by clicking on the Add Record icon. Clicking Add Record takes me to the User New User window. Note that several of my criteria are in red. This means they are absolutely required before I can save. I'm going to go ahead and enter the name, their username, a temporary password, confirm the password. Next I'll move my cursor up over. Note that view is locked in as site view and our assigned site is listing. I'll choose the user role of either site administrator or site user. I'll select user. Move my cursor over to the Add and click to save. Now I have three users at this particular site, one administrator and two users. Note if I need to make edits, I can click on the edit icon. I can update spellings, names, user roles, and so on. I can also inactivate an individual if they're no longer at my particular site by removing the check mark. When I've completed my edits, I'll save. Before I leave this topic, I want to show you the difference between the roles of site administrator and site user. To do that, I'm going to click on the home icon. And once I'm back on the home page, I'm going to point your attention to the Help icon in the upper right hand corner. When I click Help, it takes me to the Help screen. Note the Search tab at the top. I'm going to click and then enter my User Role Keyword Search. Once I've located my search criteria, I'll click to open it up. And now note on the far right of my screen, we see the site view of the application. We see the two user roles that are available, administrator and user. In this area, you can compare the differences between administrator and user. If there are additional permissions you would like to limit a particular user or administrator from delving into, say in the catalog, purchasing, site-to-site -site transfers, and so on, you'll want to reach out to your district administrator. They are the only individual that can assist you in further limiting permissions. This completes our instruction on adding users. We want to thank you for watching, and remember, you have unlimited support. Please find additional materials and videos on our Support Center.